Look, look, look at me! I'm the Woo Water Boy, <sighs> Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I would say I hope you're having a great day. If you're a Cowboy fan, you're not having a great day. If you are a fan of other teams, you are having a ball at our expense. And this really sucks doing the Dallas Cowboys walk of shame this morning. We're broken. We're broken. We, 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 we're, we're soft. We're broken. There's not much of anything that you can say that we did right. And you can literally say we are falling apart. I wish I had the full clip of Diggs after the game uh, so you could hear exactly what he had to say. But here, let's, let's go here and listen. Paris is in our studio this morning. He's our Monday morning quarterback for the Cowboys. Yes, yeah. and I mean, Ro, we, we saw what happened on the field. I mean, yep. it was not pretty, especially in those final yep. moments where it really it's mattered. Not. But then what happened off the field, that's when things kind of got a little dicey and, and honestly went a little viral. Yeah, it did go viral now. We're all looking at Trayvon Diggs right now because he had some choice words for a local reporter. So he goes after this local reporter who questioned the effort during this play that led to a touchdown. And you can see that Trayvon was not happy in this post game. I guess you can call it a confrontation. It wasn't necessarily physical. However, this is just a microcosm of what is going on with the Cowboys. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more coming up at 645. So don't go anywhere. Yeah, it's certainly something that we're all going to be watching and, yeah. and seeing how the Cowboys franchise reacts to that because seeing a player confront the media in uniform like that is yeah. uh, certainly yeah. not normal. That's something that, that we haven't seen in a very long time. This has been an interesting season for the Cowboys. We haven't seen Jerry be this combative and we haven't seen players do They're this. Frustrated. Yeah. They are. They are. Rightfully down. so. They're frustrated. Yeah. All right. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy today. I'm not happy at all. And I have gotten more shit than than I, I can can imagine uh, that, that I, I'm, I'm not even going to go through. I've got people that blame me. I'm the reason, you know, I, I must have, people must have thought I, I maybe I, I do rem resemblance Terrence Steele a little bit. Maybe they thought I was out there blocking uh, Bosa or something, and that's why they're blaming me and stuff. But it's been, it, it's been bad. Um. I got a message here. Tell the Dak haters to kiss my ass. Jerry screwed this, screwed the pooch. They can keep their Dak hate to themselves or off my page. Dak's playing terrible. He's not the only one, but I am no way is this all his fault. He's frustrated too. Hopkins, Cooper, Adams, and Henry, all acquired by teams with more weapons and less injuries. Nine starters out for the Cowboys, and both coaches were hired off the couch. Receivers have no separation, and the O-line is the worst in the league. Dax def uh, got def uh, definitely, uh, excuse me, Dax got defense in his face every play, being hit while he throws, and no run game. Dak has to be better, but for anyone to think this is all on him is completely football ignorant. The offseason, the offense and the defense have multiple players hurt, most of which are all pro players. Who did Jerry acquire to help? Nobody, nobody. While there are three rookies on the offensive line, Terrence Steele, who barely touched Bosa all night, and no run game because the O line sucks, and a dismal, dismal defense, same blame for sure, Dak's responsible for, but not even half. This is management and coaching problems 100%. By the way, Dak led two drives for scores and dropped a dime to Turpin, who could have set up the team for a game-winning drive. Uncle Phillip. Um, I got so many emails, text messages, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, tweets, and everything that just say, it's on Dak. Everything is just this one guy. And I can say all you mother humpers can kiss my ass. I'm going to do uh, Baldy's breakdown. And I want you to actually look at this and tell me that it's all on the quarterback. 
Just tell me it's all on the quarterback. Now, keep in mind, as I pointed out, here, here, when, I, when I first got up this morning, the Cowboys yesterday running the football. We got 56 yards running the football. Brock Purdy had 56 yards by himself. Zeke Elliott, 12 carries, 31 yards, 2.6 yards a carry. That's it. 31 yards. The crazy thing is the Cowboys versus the 49ers, 19-12 loss in the playoffs. Cowboys. Zeke Elliott, 10 rushes, 26 yards, 2.6 yards a carry. As a team, we rushed for 76 yards, which is one of the better ones. Cowboys loss, 30-24 yesterday. Zeke Elliott, 10 carries, 34 yards. As a team, 56 yards collectively. Every time we play San Francisco, we can't run the football at all. And we can't block. Let's let Baldy break this down. Nick Bosa is just affecting quarterbacks week in, week out. Here, he beats Steele inside. Do you think any chance that when Dak... All right, this morning, something unusual. Republicans even... ...releases that ball right there, and Bosa has him completely bear-hugged. That this ball might pop up. Oh, yeah, Jair Brown to interception. Okay. And then sometimes it's just like you get these tight ends on, and you're like, just get your let, grubby freaking... Both there, there, and Bosa has him. Come, do you think he can peek out here? So, he beats Steelin. So here it is, Dak. Dak is trying to side. You trying to set up? He's trying to set. Think he sees this guy is coming any through. Chance. As he's and set. trying to go through. This is the interception, guys. He can't step into the throw. When Dak releases that ball right there, he can't there, step into Bosa the throw even. Completely bear hugged. That this ball might pop up. Oh yeah, Jair Brown to interception. I don't know. I don't know how you put that. I, I don't know how you put that. Let's just say the quarterback. He sucks. He sucks. I, I don't. I don't. I, yes, he has had some bad plays. This has not been a good season. That this this team is wrecked like his house is. This is wrecked like the Joneses, the car, uh, something with the barricade. I guess the barricade maybe came up and, and hit the Joneses car yesterday. I, I don't, It's just like everything is wrecked. But I don't know how you look at this and say, it's just the quarterback sucks if we just have somebody else. I'm sitting here looking at Brock Purdy, who's got a clean pocket all night long, all night long and throw it to receivers that are wide open. Look at this shit. And then sometimes it's just like Look you get this. these tight ends on me, like, just get your grubby freaking hands off me. He ain't going to get a call. He knows that. So what? You got next play or play close after that? Then you just go and affect it right here. Like right here. Get your Look grubby hands off me. Two-hand swipe coming. Like this is just beautiful. Look at this. See, if you get your Look at this. Look, are you looking at this? Hands off them, then they can't. And grab you. Then you flatten and turn a Bro. Corner, and you get to Dak. First quarter sacks, they always make you feel good. They just do. You got one in the books. Then you just keep trying to affect the game. Like, you watch him right here, and you just watch how he's able to affect this game right here and get to, get to Dak right here. Get him out of the pocket, get him chasing on third downs, and throw it away. And then, you know what? You go to the other side. You start working on the rookie. Yeah, they're going to chip you. Yep, they're going to do that. And then you're going to see him. Then you're going to beat him again. And you're going to get to Dak again. And affect another throw that goes somewhere into the sidelines. And then sometimes you go, what's the protection? What's the damn protection? What is it? Stop Bosa, damn it. Stop Bosa. I don't care what we do. Chip him, grab him, hold him, put the whole line on him. But don't let him get to Dak. And he throws a touchdown pass. Let's watch that one more time. Nick Bosa is just, just affecting just quarterbacks week in, week out. Here, he beats Steele inside. Do you think any chance that 
when Dak releases that ball right there and Bosa has him completely bear hugged, that this ball might pop up. Oh, yeah, Jair Brown to interception. And then sometimes it's just like you get these tight ends on me, like, just get your grubby freaking hands off me. He ain't going to get a call. He knows that. So what? You got next play or play close after that? Then you just go and affect it right here. Like right here. Get your grubby hands off me. Two-hand swipe coming. Like this is just beautiful. Bam. See, if you get your hands off them, then they can't grab you. Then you flatten and turn the corner and you get to Dak. First quarter sacks, they always make you feel good. They just do. You got one in the books. Then you just keep trying to affect the game. Like you watch him right here and you just watch how he's able to affect this game right here and get to get to Dak right here. Get him out of the pocket, get him chasing on third downs and throw it away. And then, you know what? You go to the other side. You start working on the rookie. Yeah, they're going to chip you. Yep, they're going to do that. And then you're going to see him, then you're going to beat him again, and you're going to get to Dak again and affect another throw that goes somewhere into the sidelines. And then sometimes you go, what's the protection? What's the damn protection? What is it? Stop Bosa, damn it. Stop Bosa. I don't care what we do. Chip him, grab him, hold him, put the whole line on him. But don't let him get to Dak. And he throws a touchdown pass. You know, you say whatever the fuck you want about me. You can. You can say, uh, you know, you, you just don't see it. He sucks and everything else. <sighs> Phillip's right. Other teams with a lot more weapons than us are still trying to stockpile them. They're still trying to stockpile them and get more help. The way that offensive line blocked. Sorry, we're, we're lucky he's still upright. We're lucky he's still upright. With the lack of running the football, yeah, this season's lost, man. This season's lost. And it's all good. You know, like I said, laugh, have a ball. And Jerry Jones was excited last week about <laughs> about the fact that we're talking about the tours. Yeah. Have a good day, people. It's going to be fun on the Dan Salio show. I ain't going to lie to you. That's going to be so much fun. Peace out. <laughs>